and there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Nailed it. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Hooked them up. Suplex! What a stomp. Good grief. That'll hinder your modeling career. He looks a bit off his game here, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. A superstar has to create a multifaceted strategy to go up against Jason Jordan. You can't get caught on the mat. You need to stay away from Jordan's power, and you have to try to slow him down. Even I'll admit, that is a lot to plan for. excellent point a little while ago and it's something that must be reiterated there are so many things that opponent has to be concerned with when locking up with jason jordan they have a fighting chance they must be aware of dizzying athleticism awesome strength and superior technical skills an opponent cannot stop thinking for one second on how to defend against jason jordan's power quickness and knowledge of holes there are so many things to consider when trying to formulate a strategy that can be intimidating enough Oh, continuing to punish them. Whoa, Angle dodged that one. He still got it. Looks like he's starting to falter. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely oh, has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches. Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and date. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's making a statement here with this attack. And there's his speed paying off. the next move for Jason Jordan to turn things around quickly to remain in this thing. Wow. 
three German suplexes. Can't waste any time here. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. Guys, we've seen some pretty creative finishes to last man standing matches over the years. And perhaps one of the most creative took place at Extreme Rules 2010 when John Cena duct taped Batista's legs together. And this match is going to continue. No reason for that. This is what every competitor dreams of when they decide to get into this business. A match at the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. What a way to win a singles match.